Hey guys, uh, so I'll be doing a quick uh, 3D view of a shop. So usually how we have a problem always when it comes to 3D. Uh, it's usually very really heavy file when you do the whole thing. So we'll start with the exterior look. So you can take this one or you can take any of these, whichever you want. I'll just do one example, which would be uh just a second i have the whole thing here so i'll you can just choose this one or you can choose any of anything you have to do similar to this one i chose this one the one i showed there so this one yeah so i'll just import this to photoshop and i'll just do some changes in it so that it looks something similar to real ones because i showed you the ones which are rendered in the end so let's take this to photoshop so here we have the photoshop file we'll just open it and i'll drag the file here and so what i'll do is i'll just um, delete i'll just delete the inner view from the image it's just a high pixel image so I'll just select the select key first I'll copy it then I'll merge the file then I'll just extend it because I need a um, the elevation is a bit longer because there are like six to five shops so now I'll just select the through the selection tool and i'll merge the layer so that it's one layer and i'll just select inside the interior and i'll delete these areas so that i can have an, an image inside okay so i'll just select the whole thing okay so i'll just delete it now and I did it before, so I'll just uh, have the final look here. You can just have it here. Okay, this one was it. I did a clean, clean um, cut in from it. Okay. So these are some of the images I'll be using inside of the shop so that it's it looks a bit real. So it's more like shops for fruits, spices and all that. So I'll just copy this. Control C, Control V, and I'll just make it small. Control T, and I'll just adjust the layers here, and I'll just ex I'll just do something similar to this, and I already have it here. I just turned the layers off. I just copied some of the images, and it should look something like this. So you can just add a few, just approximate ones here so it doesn't look very really real but in the 3d it would look real so here we go and i'll just copy some other areas here and we are done okay so this is something it would look like so now i'll just crop the areas from the side so i have the 3d i'll just show it to you in the end i'll add the files as well so i'll just save as as png okay I'll just save as this PNG and now I'll be adding because I need to add a logo plus I need to add a bamboo bamboo on top of these um, shops and I'll have my logos there okay the branding there so I'll just add a bamboo stand over there on top so I have the file for the bamboo. Yeah, it would look something like this. I'll just copy it. Control C, Control V. I'll just adjust it somewhere on top so that the store area doesn't look very unreal. So here it is. I'll copy. Copy again. Merge the layers. Copy again. Merge it. I still don't think the, think the pixels are a bit fine so i'll just do some alterations to it mm, i'll just merge it and then i will i believe this one doesn't look fine yeah 
let's do it here so i'll merge this again merge i'll just do some scaling here and there i already actually did it before so this is like for the video i did it again so i'll just adjust it and this is the final look it will look something like this okay so it looks real though the pixels are good enough so i'll just create a logo here i'll just make a rectangle rectangle a white one white color and i'll have a boundary maybe black black would be fine so i'll just have a boundary here something like the offset of this i'll make a selection and i'll then subtract the area yeah it looks fine so i'll just copy this and i have a few i'll just give a small tip for this you can just go for any images and you can just take the logo from there i have an image which is this one just a second i have it here somewhere uh, these are for the other ones i'll just copy this one from here i'll copy the file here and i'll make a selection for the yeah i'll do this and i'll copy this some changes and though it doesn't come in the center just a second yeah that's fine i believe this looks good so i'll just copy it for the next six shops and i may change the color of the boundary it doesn't look very very good so i have it here i just did something like this i'll just copy the logo first it's good to have this logo as well you can just take any logo and control c control v control t and just take it here up okay so it looks real kind of real but the really in the end it looks like the real 3d so i did something like this similar to this just i'll just show it to you i changed the color of the boundaries and this is how it looks just look how how professional does it look i mean the feel does look like real okay so i did for the clothing as well and for the spices and fruit shop so here we are i'll just save it in, into a jpg or the png file for the sketchup file so i have both here so um i'll just open the sketchup file now after we have it done so let's open the sketchup file just a second just have a look at it again it looks really yeah so here we go this is the sketchup file though the file was very i mean there are no chain there are no it's not even heavy so i'll just import the jpg file and i'll just adjust it here approximately it doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be very accurate because just i had i just had to have a an approximate dimensions for these areas so here we are okay so doing this would eliminate the time you have for render instead of modeling the whole thing it's best like this so this is the final look just have a look at this it looks so real you cannot differentiate like uh, with the branding and all that stuff so hope you like the video and do subscribe and do like thank you bye, -bye.